Steve here, welcome to um, <clears throat> West Green. Um, what I've got here today is a loco kit. A brass loco kit with white metal parts, a few white metal parts. It is a Connoisseur Models O Gauge Starter Kit. It's based on, uh, apparently, according to what Jim says, Jim McGowan, it's a London, based on a London Southwestern C, I think he said a C14. Don't quote me on that. Which Triang based their Nelly loco on. Remember the old Nelly from the 60s? They had three of them. It was Nelly, Polly and Connie. One was blue. And I think Nelly was blue. Connie. Were, anyway, there's a yellow one and a red one. They had three little, little locos. A lot of fun they were. So it's based on this. So I'm actually going to build this with, for my grandson. This kit is complete. It's got all the wheels uh, and the motor in it. That's additional to the that price there, but they're they're here. So I'm just going to do a bit of a review for you. One thing I will say is uh, I was a bit surprised because it came in this pack. This is the fourth. This will be the fourth connoisseur model as uh, locos I've got. One I bought off eBay because um, it was. Jim didn't make it anymore, that was the uh, N7, and I just happened to bought one, to buy one built, uh, it was the only way I was going to get one, so I got it and repainted it, but other than that, um, I built, this is the last one I built, this is a J15, it comes in a lovely box, um, I built that, and if you look to the description, I will post a link to the complete build, if you're interested in it, um, it's also on Jim's uh, Connoisseur Models website as well. So I've done that. The other, and my first kit I built, my very first Connoisseur kit was a was the um, Gresley J50 060. Anyway, let's get on with this review. First, I suppose I should say what I, what I believe a kit, a loco kit is. There's various definitions of what people think it is. Some people think it's, a, it's just a, a pile of parts that you have to cobble together yourself and cut things out and shape things now some things do need sh shaping to me i would say a kit is like an airfix kit uh it's you can put it together with with reasonable skill you can put it together and build a reasonable reputation uh, re sorry a reasonable uh representation of the chosen model uh it might not have all the bells and whistles on it but you should be able to build it uh, and build a, I guess, a generic model of it, or it should have all the parts and good instructions. Now, with this kit, the basic kit is is this. You don't get the wheels and motor, but they you can because you can choose different motors and wheels. So, but uh, so I've got these with it. Um, now, so basically, what's in the box? Well, the bag. This, that's what it can look like, although you can paint it any colour you like. It comes with one fret. One, one uh, brass fret. with, uh, And also there were bags attached to the top. This bag wasn't in it. This looks like it was in there, but for some reason, I don't know why, this bag's split at the bottom, so... I've just found one of these bags and put them in. It's no big deal. So you get a you get various bags of components. Look, there's a, there's dome, smoke box door, uh, chimney, some wiring, bit of PCB uh, for the pickups if you want. It comes with a very lovely crew. Uh, these are white metal, but they've actually looked like they've been uh, printed uh, and made a mould out of because. They're actually really, really good. Uh, and someone told me that one of them is Jim McGowan. I don't know how true that is. But anyway, so there's that. There's, there's the boiler. That comes pre-rolled, so Jim does that. And I'd say that's where that fitted. Because that's like a T-shaped piece. So he's done that. One fret. Uh, various bags of things. Miscellaneous items, as I said. Crew. That, a few white metal castings and I got the motor which is complete with a, 
a uh, a motor mount but I think that's uh, is that on here let's have a look so oh yeah it also comes with one in the kit but Jim supplies that and it's because I've got two of them and a set of um, Slater's 7842W uh, 3 foot 6 Great Western driving wheels 10 spoke anyway so that's it um, comes with all the wire the split pins uh, it does come with uh, a choice of nameplate. It says Nelly. Very nice. And Polly. And it's got two numbers. So, I mean, you don't have to use those, but I think I will. And I think, depending on what colour, my grandson would like a blue model. So, I might paint it sort of, I don't know, like a Prussian blue or something like that with lining. And I think I might paint the Black, I could have a paint the back, uh, background black and then rub over it to uh, expose the brass or even red. I think red might look good. Uh, there's the frames. Uh, and actually, these just fold up. There's a, there is there's extra frames in the middle. Uh, but part of it, you just have to fold it up and solder it. But we'll go into that when I build the kit. Uh, what I really like about this kit, I mean, these are very buildable. If if I was going to build, if someone said to me, I want to build a brass engine, I've never built a brass engine. And I think it would be true to say that just about everybody I know, especially in O-Gages, would say build a connoisseur loco. And my recommendation would be to build this. Uh, this is a fabulous set of instructions. It explains the basics. Very comprehensive, I'd say. What you get is a very good 24 page set of instructions with a picture of the finished loco. I think that's one Jim built, it's certainly on his uh, website. Uh, I've seen lots of others done in all different colours, uh, some quite exotic uh, blue with uh, lining and then black on the outside. Uh, I'm actually thinking, I really like the idea of instead of using a painted dome getting a brass dome now whether I have to replace the dome or whether I can somehow make it look brass and polished that remains to be seen but anyway that's just a thought uh, tells you the general instructions it tells you about what tools to use it tells you even a bit about soldering and what solders to use so Jim assumes that you don't know anything and surely that is the best way to go he's even suggested a few tools here there's a taper reamer uh, micro drill reamer cutting brooches they're always good um, to open out holes a few more pictures of the um, a few more pictures of a finished loco now this I like there is a is an image of the fret, and guess what? All the parts like hairfix. Everything is numbered. So when he says parts one, two, three, and four, which he normally starts with, there's one. I don't know where two is. Uh, one, two. That's the buffer beams. Whatever it is, we'll have a look in a minute. This is all the parts. All the edge parts. Buffers, you name it. Oh, there's that bracket, uh, couplings, wire. So you can identify, the, the other good thing I like about it is you can identify all the parts. I could do an inventory check when you get it. Yeah, see, it starts. This is all soldered. One, two, three. So three of the valences down the side. Let's have a look. Let's have a look where they are, see? One, Two, uh, where's three? Let me have a look. I'm not very good at, uh, hold on. There we go. Three, so that's the valences. So that's what you start with. So, and basically Jim works way through it. Start at one and uh, cut to the end. Shows you 
the general detail of it, of it. The boiler had a had a you got to put some parts in the boiler guide to a, a boiler bands go on it, and that's another thing I like about these kits, Jim's kits in particular. Let's see if I can find it. Where's that boiler gone? Where's that confounded boiler? There. These are there's marks on there, like etch marks, and the boiler bands, wherever they are. Are grooved so they they go in there so they're all going to be straight I did that on the J15 Jim's probably the, the only person I know who does that <clears throat> and I liked it I think it's, it's a great idea so a bit more shows you how to virtually fit everything uh, even the handrails all the parts, really, you know, it's really good. Look, the option, these don't, these aren't included in the kit, but I've got some of these anyway. You can either put wire pickup, wire wiper pickups on, or use uh, pick, um, plunger pickups. These ones are slaters, which you can get separately. Uh, yeah, it uh, shows you how it all goes together. Shows you how the... Uh, Plunger pickups go together. Tells you how to join the boiler on, and there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can solder it with white metal solder. You can use epoxy resin. It's a two-part epoxy. Um, and some lovely pictures of the finished model. Look, it's going to be a great build. I'm going to really enjoy this. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to document this whole build, so uh, if you like what I'm going to do, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Uh, give me a like if you like, it's always good to have a like. But uh, if you click the bell icon, every time I upload a video, you will see it. So someone's asked if I could do the starter kit. So, oh, love my clock, what time is it? Half past eight, I think. Yeah, at night. See? Dark here. Uh, so there you go. I think I'll call that quits. Anyway. Yeah, so I'll put it back. I think what I'll do, because this is an empty box now, I'm going to put all the bits in there. Might as well use that. Love these boxes. Anyway, that's it.